We are a micro distillery. We produce spirits, not beer, unlike the brewery that's about uh, 500 yards down the street here on Varick Street, uh, which basically means we um, are making corn-based vodka, gin, and bourbon here at this facility here. We're not a bar, we're not a brewery, we're a micro distillery. Uh, in many ways, similar to a winery in Seneca Lake, you can come here, have a tour, have a tasting, and buy a bottle right out of here as well as some merchandise we have in the front of the uh, facility we have. The first product we have is a vodka that's a corn-based vodka. All that corn comes from New York State. We use uh, Sangerfield Grain Company is, is our corn sort of broker, if you will. They, they mill our corn for us. Uh, and they get it from multiple farms in New York State, and so we use that corn. So last summer, they came down and visited with us, and we had a great visit with them, showed them our plant, uh, Gold Star Feed and Grain. We helped them decide how, how fine to grind the corn to manufacture this vodka. It was very important to them, and it's very important to us that 100% of our customers are in Shenango, Madison, Oneida, and Herkimer counties and it's good to see the corn being used in the local area too. That complements our feed business and our cornmeal business very nicely to have some commercial applications for corn. Transportation is a huge cost nowadays, so not having to truck corn or vodka huge distances is an economic benefit to everyone. So we can pay a little more for corn and we don't have to charge as much to sell it because our trucking is very, very low. 98% of the world's vodka is actually made from wheat. And when you drink a wheat vodka, um, you have that bite in the back of your throat that, that most people know if, if you uh, just drink a vodka straight. Corn, on the other hand, will give you a much smoother tasting vodka. It's more of a sipping vodka. And the difference between our vodka and a lot of other vodkas is our custom-made still that's behind me, this pot is a custom-made 650 liter still handcrafted in Germany along with a 21 plate column, rectifying column, made for vodka, made specifically for us. So our vodka is actually distilled 24 times before it gets bottled, which gives it a very pure, very smooth, very easy drinking spirit that will come out of it. And handcrafted all the way. Nothing, there's no machines that, you know, press a button on a computer and things move all over the place. We handcraft everything. We do it by taste, sound, smell, and, uh, and sight. We're doing handcrafted small batch spirits. So we'll make about 20 to 25,000 bottles a year to start out at this facility. Grey Goose does 16,000 bottles an hour at their plant. All automated, and it, again, one of the biggest companies in the world, but we really do small, handcrafted artisan spirits here. We are gonna be proud of this product, and we want people to, to be proud of it too. And that means that uh, we want people to, to have pride in it, and come up to us and say how much they like it. We don't want to hear people say that they don't like it. So, um, and these are our friends and neighbors and family that'll be drinking it. So absolutely, we want, uh, we want people to enjoy it and, and we put our pride in every bottle. We go from farm to bottle in about two weeks. So initially, Sangerfield Grain Company in Sangerfield, New York, right down the road here, mills our corn for us. We get it delivered through the side door here into our grain vault. From there, we mix corn, water, and steam to basically make a corn soup we have that mash, we cook it, we cool it down very quickly, we pump it into a fermenter, add yeast to that. The yeast turns that sugar that we've cooked out of the corn, makes alcohol and CO2. From there, we pump that fermented mash into our still behind me, and we do what's called a stripping run. We take the corn and we separate corn from alcohol, run it through our rectifying column, distilled 24 times in total, and from that, we'll have cuts called heads, hearts, and tails. We cut out those heads, we don't use them unlike most other distilleries. And we have what's called the hearts, the purest of the pure uh, spirit. We keep that. And then at the end of the run, those are called the tails. We discard those as well. We don't use the tails in our final product. The only thing that makes it in that product are the hearts, the purest part of the spirit run after 24 distillations. Given that we're a handcrafted, distilled, small batch vodka that's made right here, you know, our product is gonna cost a little bit more. Again, the corn is more expensive than wheat. Having it handcrafted is a little bit more expensive. And again, we only use 10% of the initial volume of liquid ends up in our bottles. So a uh, cost per bottle, it's gonna be right around $32 plus tax, um, selling right out of here. Granted, it's a little bit more expensive, but you know, we feel like the quality is worth it. And again, we're a local product that hopefully people will support and uh, this is the perfect place to do it, right in the city. We wouldn't want to be any place else but in the city of Utica doing this. We've got the community support, we've got the support 
of uh, business owners here, uh, and it's and it's been great, and it's it's been a perfect fit for us, and and hopefully that uh, support will continue to grow, and we can prosper and create more jobs and put more money into the city and 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 help the entire community. And Redneck Distillery, it's a great opportunity for the city of Utica. Varick Street, we, we have an anchor now on one side with Matt Brewery and we have the other anchor on Adirondack Distillery on the other. It's jobs, we're always looking for jobs, it's sales tax revenue. They could have chosen any other area and they chose right here in Varick Street. Utica is open for business and we're very proud to be here with Bruce, with Steve and Jordan. We thank them and we're, we're really looking forward to tasting that vodka. So again, like a, like a winery in Seneca Lake, people can come in, take a tour, have a small tasting, buy a bottle right out of here retail. But also, you know, we've been in discussions with local bars, restaurants, and liquor stores uh, all over the county and especially the city. So yes, you'll be able to find our products in your local establishments, uh, whether that be a restaurant bar or a liquor store. Our license allows us to, uh, to self-distribute, uh, at least initially we'll do so. And uh, you will find, be able to find our product in your, in your favorite liquor store. Uh, bar or restaurant and if it's not there you should demand that it's there and they can give us a call and we will get them a bottle.